had some pretty good luck so far. We caught what five, six? Five or six, yeah. Five or six. But like that, two, three pounders. That sucks for here. Really? Yeah, that sucks. Like it. It's a process. We will find them. I'm ready. Cash clean and cook, baby. Big guy. Big guy. Eat good. That's right. I hope I record. I was. All right, guys. I just caught my personal best crappie. I bet he'll go two pounds. I mean, he's a stud. But we're eating good tonight, boys. Lift that thing. Uh. Ah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> what a Get stud. that flying off going. <laughs> what a stud, dude. Okay, I just thought I caught a big crappie. That is a three pound crappie right there, people. That Dude, is that's, insane. I've seen, you can feed an army with one of these things. Oh my gosh. We own them. We're out here trying to catch bass, but whenever the crappie are biting like this, how can you not take advantage of it? Dude, look at the size of the mouth. You ever seen a mouth that big on a crappie? Dude. Oh. Oh my gosh! Dude. <laughs> Holy cow, dude! Look at the size of that. That thing. is a three pound crappie. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Let me get my big camera, dude. Okay. So I thought I had the biggest one of the day, but uh, Alton just schooled me. He's three pounds, dude. Dude, I don't know how he wouldn't be. Here. Like, I'm thinking that's two and three quarters anyway. No, that's three pounder. Score tracker update. Two fifty five, two forty nine. Oh my god. Yeah, that's good.
Well, that was an awesome day of fishing. We caught like 60 to 70 bass, caught a bunch of crappie. I think I'm gonna split this video up into two videos. I'm gonna make a bass fishing video and then a crappie catch, clean, and cook because we caught so many fish that I have enough footage to make two videos and I know y'all probably like to see uh, catch, clean, and cook on crappie. So we're loading these big boys up right now. Um, it was an awesome day, appreciate it. Little Alton, yeah. little AJ. Let's do it again sometime. But we did keep every slab crappie that we caught. Dude, they wanted them taken out of that lake, so. I guess I'm stuck with cleaning all of them because I'm the eat good guy. Alton doesn't want to take I'm, any. I'm gonna go eat good eating pizza tonight. We just got a bunch of little crappie. Little. You know, just like, a little, you know. Just dinks, you know. Slab. You might be able to get some meat off that one. We're just putting them in the trash bag so we can go to the back, and out back, and clean them real quick. We don't have a bucket or anything in this whole shop to carry them in. So, hey, when are you gonna take me out on that uh, jet boat? You ready? You need the brides? I know. I mean, we need to hit not the brides. Yeah, There's don't no go to the brides. There's no bass There's in no the brides. There's no bass in the brides. Is a <laughs> freaking chode. <laughs> Get the size of that thing. Dude, the, the camera doesn't even do it justice, no. dude. Dude, look at, I mean, I got a freaking take, melon of a head. Let's take some pictures. Of All right, guys, I'm here at my buddy Hayden's house. This is the place to clean fish if you live in uh, blank Texas. So, I'm gonna get after it. It's freezing still. I'm gonna get after it, and then uh, I'm gonna go to the house and cook it up for dinner. This is how we clean crappie in these parts. Electric knife, easiest way to do it. Dull. Make sure your make sure your blades are dull. That is, that is key to cleaning crappie. Make sure them them blades are dull. Dude, these crappie are so big I can't even get the knife all the way through it. You gonna grab the other blades real quick? Huh? You gonna go grab your other blades? No, I'll be all right. It's gonna take so once you get it like that, you want to leave a little on the tail so you can just pull it back, skin all the meat off. And then uh, cut the ribs out. And then uh, feed it to the fish. Flip it over, same thing. Hey, if y'all want to see a real crappie clean, Hayden's the man to do it. But he's too pretty today to, to clean a crappie. So y'all have to do with what I know. That is what you call crappie slab. What do you think, Hayden Joe? Looks good. Big old piece of meat. I'm gonna finish cleaning these bad boys up because I'm freezing, my hands are already frozen. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, we are in the kitchen. Cleaned up all the fish. Uh, I'm gonna bake it because I've been frying everything for y'all lately. We got some, uh, some little potato chips going on over here. Dust it with a little bit of cavenders. Um, so how I do this, lay you out some fillets. I might do two pans. I'm hungry. Try to fit as much fish as possible on here. These are some Mac Daddy fillets too. Put the oven 375 or 350 work start. Get some oil in here. That's a striper fillet, that ain't no crappie. Alright, we can fit more in here. Another thing. That'll do it right there. That's enough. 
take you a few little cubes of butter. Just throw them in there. We'll just soak it all on up. And then we'll do it. A little butter action. And we're going to use some Everglades fish and chicken. This stuff is good. Dust that on there. And then put you a little, uh, here, let's flip these real quick. And we got mac and cheddar that we're putting on here as well. Uh, find a little Old Bay. I think I got some. Okay, scratch the Old Bay. I don't have Old Bay. And this is all you do. It's really simple and it's super good. Crappie just falls apart. Um, save that fish for another night. Oh okay. yeah. One more step you have to do. Take you some lemon juice. Take you some lemon juice. Drizzle it on there. It's also good to put, uh, like if you have an onion, dice an, o dice an onion up, or uh, like onion rings laid on top of it. Put it on there. Even lemon slices is good on there. But uh, this is all you have to do. It's super easy, super simple. Um, crappie is my favorite fish to eat. And uh, oven at 350. And what do you think? This will take. 10 minutes? 15, yeah. 10, 15 minutes. We'll see y'all in 15 minutes. All right, guys, I'm listening to your comments, and one of you commented and said to put mayonnaise on your fish and bake it. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it. I have heard of it before, but I've never done it. So I don't know how much to use. Leave it in the comments. Do you put seasoning on it too, or just mayonnaise? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I just... Rub it all in. Leave it in the comments if I'm doing this wrong because I really don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to try it. I'm just going to leave it like that and throw it in the oven. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. We got our fries. We got our mac and cheddar. Now let's take a look at what is better. That was stupid. Cut. 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 And see what it looks like. Not a bad idea. Whatever I did. I don't know what I just did wrong. Watch out, Coop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's done. So that fish is done. About another three or four minutes, we'll take the mayonnaise fish out, and then we'll eat good. Alright. Here's the old mayo. Whoever commented on my video and said it's good with mayo, I hope you're not lying to me, because I'm about to try this. I already got my plate with everything else on it. Let's, uh... Get over here, get a close up on this. It looks like a ghost fish. It's gonna be real, real hot. Let me look. <coughs> All, right. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the regular crappie that I baked, how I normally do it. Good like always. Super flaky. Now let's get <coughs> a little bite of this. No seasoning, <coughs> nothing. That is really good. Whoever commented that, props to you because that is amazing and I will be doing that again. Seriously, let me get you trying that. <laughs> Seriously. Tell me what you think, Hey, you see. It's pretty hot.
A lot better than I expected. It was good. good. It is pretty good. It is good. You need a little seasoning. Yeah, you could season it. But it got a good, like, and I don't even like mayo that much. No. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.